right, we've got another email just came in and you're watching the mailbox. I'm Yusuf Estes. This one is asking a very good question. It says, why can a man have three wives and women can only have one husband in Islam? Okay, okay, we got a problem here. First of all, I have to clarify something for you. A man can have four wives in Islam and a woman can only have one husband. That's the correct uh, question to ask me. And uh, I'm sure that that doesn't really change your question, but just to clarify. What Allah says about it in the Quran, this is in chapter 4, verse 3. Allah says, marry other women of your choice, ithna, which is two, thalath, three, arba, which is four, if you can treat them all in equity, if you can treat them all fairly, and if you can't, then you can only marry one. All right, now. Who has the most choice? Let's deal with that first, and then I want to come back and look at another subject here. But who really has the most choice here, the men or the women? Well, obviously, you're going to say, well, the men, because they can choose four. Actually, it's the other way around. The women have the bigger choice, because a woman can only have one husband. Is that true? Yes, one husband for the woman. But how many wives can the man have? More than one. So if a man would look at all of the availability in a community, he cannot choose from any of the women that are already married. So if there's only one or two women left that are not married, that's his choice, only from them. But for the woman, she can choose from any man in the community as long as he doesn't already have four wives. So if he has one wife or two wives or three wives, she can still choose to marry this man. She can offer herself in marriage. Now you might say, well, I don't know why she'd want to do that. Well, I don't either because I'm not there. But there may be circumstances where that would work out real well. But let us consider at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when these verses were revealed, there were no limits. A man could have all the wives he wanted. In fact, women were treated very poorly and they weren't given proper rights. Islam is very much about the rights. The rights for the husband, yes, but the rights for the women as well and the rights for the children that are a product of their relationship in marriage. So therefore, a child has the right to know who his father is and how would he know if the woman had more than one husband. And the wife has a right to be maintained properly. How will she know how she's going to be uh, provided for? But hey, I can look over here and see this man provides very well for his wife the existing. Therefore, he might also treat her the same way he has to really in Islam. And so this is giving more choices and more equity for the women and a balance for the men as well. There's a lot more about it on our website. Go to the islamnewsroom.com, type in the keyword here, wives. And until next time, that's the mailbox for today. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you.